Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video I'm be going over a bucket plugin called Telepads. Now this is a extremely simple plugin that allows you to create telepa telepads in your server, so if somebody stands on the block, it will teleport them to a different location. It's very simple, the permissions are easy to set up as a few really basic commands, and it's just overall simple. So all you have to do is download it, which I've already had right here, and then you're going to want to put it in your server plugins folder. And then you're going to want to start up your server or restart your server, however you want to do it. And when that's done, I will well it will create a telepads folder where well where I can edit the config. So it just did right there. And I'm going to go into the config and edit some things. So the type ID is what type of block the user has to stand on to get teleported. So for this I'm going to use lapis block which I believe is 22, I could be wrong. And you can do the teleport time, so this is how long it takes to teleport when standing on the block. I'm going to keep it at 3 seconds for the sake of the video. Um, you can add a no destination message which I will keep enabled for this video. And you can edit the messages, so um, you can do... So I'm going to change this a little bit so you can see a example this one says teleporting in the time the time is what will be right here stay on the pad so I'm gonna change this to get ready to go so then you can see that is working get ready to go and then that will be when you stand on the pad now teleport true you're obviously gonna want that and you can edit these messages as you please um, there's also the pads but it's recommended that you do not edit that manually because that is just where the data saves. So now let's get into the demonstration. Alright, so now I'm going to demo this plugin for you. Um, in the config we set the block type to lapis blocks, so I'm going to be using that. Um, I'm just going to go over here to a random location and put the lapis block into the ground. So this is going to be where one of my teleports are and I'll just make one let's say over here just for demonstration purposes of this video so now when I stand on this telepad it should take me to there vice versa but we need to create it first so I'm going to stand directly on top of this make sure it's perfect or else it won't work and then we're going to need to do create pad and then the name of the pad so tut1 now I've successfully created the pad tut1 and I'm going to go over here and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to create pad, create pad, and tut2. So then I've created the pad tut2. Now there is one problem. If I stand on the pad, it will say there's no destination. That is because we have not linked the pads. And linking the pads is very simple. You All you have to do is pad link, and then the name of your two pads. So I have tut1 and tut2. Then when I stand on one of the pads, it will take me to that one. So, there we go. Y you have successfully teleported to Tut1. Now, there are some other commands. I'm going to go over two of them. So we have the pad list, which shows the pads, and then you have pad delete. I mean, delete pad. So, D-E-L, <coughs> D-E-L, and then pad and that will delete a pad. Let's just say I want to delete tut1 and tut1 removed. So if I go to um, pad list I think then there will be only tut2. So that is how you use the plugin and how you configure it. Um, I hope this helped you in some sort of way. Uh, there will be a link in the description or if you view, happen to be viewing this on the plugins thread you can just download it there. Um, I think that's about it. Have a good day, and goodbye.